What do I think of the Naruto ending? Find out today. Now, first of all, 699 and 700 were both very rut. Now, before you come at me and tell me you're not rut, let me ask you something. Why didn't we see Kakashi become the Sith Tokage? Right, because Tishimoto didn't want to spend time on it, and then he wanted to end the manga on chapter 700 for some reason. The reason? I'm not really sure. Also, I know Kishimoto quote unquote explained why Sasuke was pardoned, but Sasuke did so many bad things. He broke so many laws that I am borderline to say that, Nor that without seeing it, I cannot believe Naruto and Kakashi were able to convince the Raikage of all people. I, the guy who hates Sasuke with a burning passion, and they should allow him to be pardoned for every single crime. That's just not the way it works. That is stupid. Sasuke should not have just gotten off the hook. That was the first thing in the ending that made me angry. Now, I'm just going to talk about it separately from the chapter, but the pairing. Ah, yes, the pairing. Now, first of all, Dr. Saku is a bad pairing for multiple reasons. Now, this is all my opinion, but these are the reasons I don't like it. One, Sakura was just completely back to being a fangirl. Like, she was, like, shy and timid. She was afraid to ask Sakura. The whole thing was stupid. The entire conversation was stupid. So one, Sakura smarter than that. She knows Sakura is going to say no. This is Sakura. And unless Naruto gave him a new personality with that punch, yeah, he's just gonna going to go back to being a nice guy and not a killer. That doesn't mean he's going to become like Naruto and want everybody to be friends with everybody and be around people all the time. He's still anti-social and he's still an asshole. So, but that's a talk where I thought he was saying yes, did bother me tremendously. Now, from my understanding, according to Kishimoto, Sasuke tapping Sakura's forehead is a marriage proposal. I'm not sure if that is true, but if it is true, that is the most retarded proposal I've ever seen. Mainly because Sakura did not even know how much that means. Sakura, does, does Sakura even know about the truth about Itachi? Um, I would say she may know because Naruto very well could have told her, but it's also very likely that she does not know. And even in, for, even in Naruto's case, where he knows the truth about Itachi, Naruto himself would still not know about the significance of Sasuke poking her on the forehead. So even if Sasuke, even if Naruto knew about Itachi's past, he would only have told Sakura about the reason Itachi did what he did. He wouldn't have actually seen it and understood the significance of what Sakura did of the uh, forehead poke. In fact, if Naruto knew how much that meant, he probably would have had a reaction when he saw when he saw from a distance that Sasuke did it. Now let's not even get into the fact that of course Sasuke tried to kill Sakura multiple times, yet she just forgave him for that. Let's not even go into that because that's not human nature. That's that's just not a bad that's not a bad female character. That's writing a character that isn't mentally stable. And Sakura has been depicted as being mentally stable the entire series. But now here she is for giving Sasuke. Now, that is fine. I am not one of the people that are going to hate on Sakura for forgiving Sasuke and still caring about him the way she does. Naruto still cares about Sasuke tremendously. Naruto forgave Sasuke the force Sakura did. However, I do have a problem with Sakura still loving him romantically. Loving him in general is fine. Naruto loves him like a brother, that's fine. But loving him romantically after he tried to kill you and made you see, and after he made Sakura see her own death, well, you know, I don't really support that. But I've talked about Sasu Saku for a couple of minutes now, now we'll talk about Naruhina. Now, I do not support Naruhina. Now, I don't have many reasons for this, and I don't want to go into my reasons, because then I could go on all day. But I don't support Naruto being with somebody who he never really spent time with in the canon, and who, according to the canon, he never had any feelings for. 
I do not support using an outside source such as a movie that's handle that. That should have been done in the manga, and if it wasn't, that should prove Kishimoto it wasn't a good enough writer to plan things out. Also, when I choose to, you know, uh, support a pairing, I base it on whether or not I find the two characters entertaining to be around. When I actually, like, when I'm happy when the characters are together on screen. I mean, I support pairing, not that I think will happen, but that I want to happen. Pairing that I think are interesting, and pairing that I think have reasons that they could happen, and pairing that I like. Like, Naruto and Sasuke, for example, doesn't make any sense, because the first thing Naruto did when he got back to the village was he asked Sakura on a date. Now, no matter what pairing you support, can we agree that Sakura is a girl? And Naruto's asking a girl out. Therefore, he's straight. He's not gay. That is just proof. Like, why would he be acting soccer out if he was gay? Why? Why would he do that? There's no reason for that. If he was gay, he wouldn't act girls out. It's that simple. So, that pairing is very less likely. Okay, but Naruto and Hinata. So, when I see Naruto and Hinata, I actually just get sleepy. I get bored. Because it's such a boring romance. That's really what it is. It's a boring romance with no real humor between them. The side for maybe Naruto being an idiot every once in a once once in a while. <laughs> Excuse me. The side for that is really just he not to just there being shy and timid and Naruto standing there laughing. It's not funny and it doesn't entertain me in the slightest. And when I see it, I actually want to fall asleep. I don't think the two, the two characters go well together either. But actually, normally when I stand together, I feel like Naruto stands out. You had this guy who was just outgoing, loud, and obnoxious. With a girl who is quiet, timid, and shy, it just doesn't work for me. And I just don't like it, and I don't support it. However, if that is the direction Kishimoto chooses to go, which he did, I support it. Does that mean I like it? No. But but will I say it? Will I let it ruin the series? No. However, I do support Narusaku. So when I read 700, I was quite disappointed to see Naruto with Wichinata. I had not been keeping up with news on the last of the movie very much. So I didn't know about uh, Bolt and uh, Him Himawari. So, or Boruto, I'm sorry, I'm acting using my mindset from back then when his name was a bolt. Now, of course, being a Narutaku fan, I'll quickly go into the reason I support Narutaku. Not too in depth, but I'll go over it quickly. I support Narutaku because I feel like Sakura is a better with Naruto. I actually find the interaction between the characters entertaining. You had no clue. Like, when Sakura hits Naruto, I laugh. Because unlike some people who get mad at Sakura for it, I think it's funny because I get that it's a joke. And also, sometimes I would have hit him too. There are times where I'm really sitting there like, oh my god, this man is so damn stupid. Like, what was it? When he decided to get up in the tuning exam and just shout to everybody how he was going to beat them. I was thinking, what the hell is wrong with you? You're just bringing attention to yourself. Now your chances of dying are higher. Stalker hit them over the head. I'm like, thank you. Thank you. I would have done the same thing if my teammate made my chances to get a kill higher. People seem to forget that when Naruto does something stupid on a mission, it doesn't just make the chances of him dying higher, it made the chances of Sakura dying higher. So if, so if somebody did something that made the chances of you, that, of you dying higher, wouldn't you want to punch him in the face? I would. But whatever. So, I do support Naruto, but I find the interaction very funny. I find Naruto obviously likes Sakura for a good amount of the theory. I find that great, so that helps. Sakura, I feel it's very good. It would be very cool if she had, I guess, fall in love with Naruto. She didn't. But I feel like she very well could have at a lot of points in the theory. And she definitely cared about it. And I feel like that's the most important thing is caring about each other and supporting each other unanimously throughout each other's lives. Something Hinata didn't really do. Hinata stood in the background and watched Naruto have problems. When Naruto and Sakura became friends, Sakura was there. 
and like buy a with Naruto and but helped him whenever he could because they were friends. He not and never did that. And that's what bothered me. But enough about pairing. Now let's talk about the chapters. Mostly about chapter 700. But I already really talked about the main content of chapter 699. Now, unlike many other Naruto fans, I actually relatively enjoy chapter 700. I don't like it, but I do enjoy some parts of it. There are some parts of it that we've been waiting years for, and I think are perfect for the characters. Now, first of all, I do have a problem with the fact that all the characters must have gotten together and decided unanimously. Sake even came back to the village on the same night they all got together. Just coincidentally. And they were all like, tonight we're having sex, and every one of our girlfriends, girlfriend or wife, you know, whatever it was, is gonna get pregnant. Tonight. It's gonna happen, and all of our kids will be born in the same year and be in the same class. That is not okay. That doesn't make any sense. The only people that actually make somewhat sense are Naruto and Hinata who have had two kids. Which, by the way, is that the only Naruto and Hinata that had two children? I still don't understand that. Like, what is so special about Hinata Hyuga? What is so special about Hinata that she is the only woman who can, produ who can produce two children? Sakura is the only character when it is cute. For not having another child. But that's that all out of all like what ten characters? Out of all of these couples, only like one of them produced two children blows my mind. Because there must have been an accident at some point or something. But no. They just never had another kid and I that just bothers me. But let's also talk about pacing. The pacing of 700 was garbage, as well as 699. Let's talk about all that happened from 699 to 700. In 699, Sakura heals Naruto and Sake. Kakashi becomes Mr. Tokage. Sake has a trial that we we don't see Kakashi becoming Mr. Tokage, and we don't see Sake's trial. Sake talks to so to Sake. Sake talks to Sakura. Then he leads the villain and bumps into Naruto and they had their little conversation. Which I just realized I did not talk about. So I'll touch on it briefly. The Naruto and Sake conversation at the end of the 699 was, was cool. It was fine. I loved it. I liked it. I mean, it was, it, it was how I did it to go. Wasn't anything out of the ordinary. But back to 700, of course. In 700, it, it felt so rushed. Because it felt like that he threw all these new characters in our faces, and it felt like you were just away saying money, 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 money. It didn't feel like we were meeting new characters. I felt like I was meeting piles of money. Because that's all 700 did, was set up the next generation for a new Boruto manga, which by the time this video is out, will probably be, be, be coming out this week, on Thursday. Back on chapter 1 of the Boruto manga will drop. And I will be reviewing it, so definitely check out my review with that. It will be a monthly manga, just so you know, but that's on a, that's a, on a, that's a side note for a different video or something. But, well, I also feel that in 700, Boruto was depicted to be a very big brat. Like, I hated Boruto after 700. I didn't start liking Boruto until the Boruto movie. Uh, up in, I liked him a little bit more in order to guide him for the little we saw of him. But it wasn't until the Boruto movie that I decided I, I can tolerate that character. Up until then, I was just like, he's such a brat. But yeah, in 700, we are introduced to Boruto and Serata, who appear to be the two main staple characters of the next generation. Because they were each given... Boruto got a movie, and Serata got her 10th chapter in Naruto Gaiden manga. And they're cool. I mean, I like Serata. I think he's going to keep the best female character by far. Just well written, no ro no romantic bullshit involving her character. Besides for a crush on Boruto, which isn't really that relevant or you go you barely even notice the her having a crush on him. And she definitely has her priority straight, unlike her mom did at her age, which is great, thank God. But the point is, is that both characters are good. 
they're, they're tolerable, and I feel like especially as they're developed throughout the Boruto manga, I'll grow to like them even more. However, now let's talk about our three main characters in the chapter 700. Now, some of you may be affecting me because I knew some of you may know that I'm a big Sakura fan and a big Nara Sakura fan, as I mentioned earlier, to be complaining about Sakura being a housewife. Where did it say she was a housewife? Just because she is shown cleaning in 700 does not mean she's a housewife. I mean, this is, this is Sakura. You know how easily Sakura could still have a job at the hospital? I mean, what? She could have a shadow clone at, at, at the house for all we know. Really, I mean, what? You do realize Sakura's a Jonin, and I'm pretty sure Bakagi both you know just do, or Shadow Clone just do, is the technique most Jonin can do. So it's not that far off. Sakura could still work part time, and Sakura definitely, I mean, Sakura's not bringing in any money. Sakura's off wandering about the world, so the only place they're getting money is either from money they loan Sakura would borrow from, I guess, from Naruto. Which doesn't, in my opinion, seem very likely. Or it is also very possible that Sakura could just go on missions. Because you think about it, all Sakura would need to do, because from my understanding, an X-ranked mission pays very well. So if Sakura just went on an X-ranked mission every once in a while, she could probably afford to, you know, lead a good life for her and her daughter pretty easily. Especially considering she doesn't need to really provide for Sasuke that much. Like, all I can stock it in the bill is all she needs to do is put, take out a little bit of, of extra money and buy him food. And he's almost never there, so it doesn't really matter. Having Sasuke over is the equivalent to having a guest in your house in, at this point. So I'm not gonna stay here and complain about her being a housewife. She probably is a housewife, but it pisses me off. But I'm not gonna sit here and complain about something that we have no proof for. So yeah, I'm very pleased with the way Stalker was depicted in 700. I also did like the little joke where she was like, Oh, Boruto? Yeah. Whatever. Like, she, she went, I did like how she wasn't phased by Boruto's stupidity at all. <laughs> because she's so used to Naruto doing stupid things. She's just kind of like, whatever, it's a kid. What, this is what I expected, probably. And probably what Stalker expected from Boruto, honestly. But no, but what I want to talk about now is, um... Fortunately, Sasuke. Some people may be that they may complain that Sasuke never home. I'm not gonna do that because, in my opinion, Sasuke being home would be even more out of character than him being, you know, at home, than him being away from his family. Because Sasuke has always been the kind of person he always wants to get stronger and go on missions. He always his life revolved around being a shinobi. He's not like Sakura who had some other goal. Sakura had a goal. She wanted to become a great ninja, but she, like, like anybody does. Like if you're, if you're a ninja, you want to be a good one. She, but she wanted to become a ninja and protect her home, but she also wanted to get married and have, with Sasuke and make Sasuke fall in love with her. Naruto, won yes, we wanted to protect his village, but he also, on the side, he wanted friends. He wanted friends and a family. Sasuke never had that. Sake was just like, I want to get stronger, I want to kill my brother, I want revenge, I want this, I want that. It, it was always was a goal that involved being a ninja. Sake is always doing ninja things. So it would not make sense for you to go and live at home all the time. I don't think that's not the life Sake would want to live. And honestly, I don't know if that's the life he could live. Because I don't think people are too fond of Sake. And even if they've forgiven him, they probably don't trust him very much. Despite, despite my feeling toward Naruhina, I love Naruto in his ending. I love him. He's amazing. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of the way he treats Boruto. I'm really not. I feel like he's kind of a jackass and a really bad father. And I don't think being Hokage is an excuse. Because Minato loved his ass. And Minato came home every night and he ate dinner with his family. You saw that in the flashback. Minato would come home and eat dinner with his family. And Minato was Hokage during a relatively bad period. He, it wasn't peaceful time when he was Hokage, at least as far as I remember. The point is that Minato, Minato can make time for his family during times of war or peace. Either way, Naruto can do the same. Especially considering the fact that he can just make shadow clones. 
the point is, is that the side for that, Naruto neglecting his family, I love him. And honestly, I can't be mad at Naruto at 700, because I waited so long. I, I imagined this so many times, just how awesome it would be to see Naruto dressed as the Hokage. So, it, when I saw it in 700, even though I was pissed about the pairing, I still let it go, and I was like, you know what? Naruto Togage. Like, Naruto finally achieved his dream, and that made me very, very happy. I did not read Naruto so, Naruto so I could see Naruto and Sakura have sex and make babies. That is not why I read it. I read Naruto because I loved the characters. I loved the interaction between the characters. I loved seeing Naruto and Sasuke in the Boruto movie. I loved that. I love how they're always like, you win this round, you win this round, how it's all one big competition. I, I get a smile on my face every time Sakura punches Naruto through a wall or something. That makes me laugh. Whenever Naruto and Sasuke fire jabs at each other, I find it funny. When Kakashi shows up and it's like, I'm sorry I'm late, and Naruto and Sakura get pissed, and Sasuke just like, whatever, I don't care. I like that. I love these characters. That's the reason I read Naruto. I read it because I wanted to see Naruto save his friend, become Hokage, be acknowledged by everybody, save his villain, become a hero. I wanted to learn why Naruto had been nine tails inside, not killed inside him, who his parents were. I wanted to know why Itachi killed the clan. I wanted to know if Saki would ever get revenge on his brother. These were the reasons I read Naruto. It wasn't over a stupid pairing. Yes, if, you, if I could change it, of course I would. I said I would rather be Naruto. But Naruto would not be end pairing, and I don't care about that. The, Naruto being Hokage was amazing, and that little end credit page was like, you know, it's like, and there was once the nine tailed fox spirit, and he's the source Hokage, stealed it into a baby. And that boy became the seventh Hokage. I love that. That was amazing because that was a duplicate of the pages of the very first page of the manga. Is is a is a different is a different version of the very final page, and I love that. It's showing things came full circle. It was just, on the first page. It told us, you know, what was narrated in the beginning of the anime. And then at the end, we got a very similar narration, but instead of it being about the kids that was hated, it was about this man that was loved and admired by everybody in the world. I, so, my um, overall thoughts on the ending, it was decent. It was good. I, I didn't love, I don't love it. It's not, I'm not like, oh my god, but Naruto ending was so amazing. You should totally read Naruto just so you can see the ending. No, I'm not like that. No, I would never even be caught dead saying that. It's that bad to go kill myself after this video. Just because I did say that. But, I did love parts of it. Nah, not parts. I actually hated it. I actually hated it a good, a good amount of a couple of things. But as I said earlier, like, I hated I hate Naruhina. I do not like Naruhina. But I do like Boruto and Dorada, just to make sure that's clear. I do like Boruto and Dorada. My mu- I do not blame their children for the pairing. And I actually do have a question for everybody that watched this far in the video. If you are a fan of this franchise, the Naruto franchise, and a fan of the Dragon Ball franchise, tell me this. If, if you were that you hate if you hated Chichi, would that make you hate Gohan? Answer that question first. Because I hate Chichi, but I like Gohan. It's the same thing with Naruhina. I hate I hate her I hate Boruto's parents. That can seize him, but Boruto is a character, I like him. He's fine, and I like him. But guys, if I had to rate the Naruto ending, I would rate it a 5 out of 10. It was okay. It wasn't perfect, but it was pretty good. But guys, I hope you enjoyed my video today's video on my thoughts on the Naruto ending. I'm going to be dropping a lot of the uh, Naruto content this week because of the fact that, uh, Coming up on Thursday is the release of the first chapter of the Boruto manga. So I figured to celebrate that, I'll release a lot of Naruto content. So, I don't know what other videos I have planned. I have a couple other videos in my head, but I'm not sure about those. But guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember guys, to tell me your thoughts on the Naruto ending in the comment section down below. 
But guys, above all else, have a great day. It's the One Piece Nation, signing out. Peace.